Corbin, <laughs> did you know that if the entire human population stood in a line from America to Asia, most of them would drown? Because water. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody sports on Patreon. Follow us if you can't subscribe. I'll shut up. <laughs> Trying to enrage me? Mm-hmm. Is it working? Yep. Sweet. Uh, do, 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 do. We got a food video. This is uh, from the channel. Say his name for me. The channel Khalid Al Amari. I remember him. Yeah, yeah he's, he's yep. a lot of fun. Seventy-two hours eating the best biryani in all of India. This wow! Video of his came out two weeks ago. Um, I'm sure I'll be very hungry by the end of this video. I'm already hungry. You know who else are the Hungarians? Shut. It's the city with the best biryani in the world. Uh, I actually think it's Council Bluffs, video, Iowa. I flew 2,000 miles to try the best biryani in the world, only to get thousands of comments like... Wow, I thought short more. Meet that, me too, but that's all right. He still does good stuff. ...to get thousands of comments like, nothing beats Hyderabadi biryani. So the team and I fly directly to the source, Hyderabad, which many say is the birthplace of biryani. The meat. <laughs> we decided that the only way to test if Hyderabadi biryani is the best is to only eat Hyderabadi biryani for the entire trip. Yep, you heard that right. <laughs> I'm talking about biryani for breakfast, biryani for lunch, and biryani for dinner. And in these 72 hours, I learned how to make biryani, eat biryani, and avoid some of the very risky mistakes. And at the end of this video, I meet up with one of India's national heroes to see what they have to say about Hyderabadi biryani. So we are in Hyderabad, you're, I'm getting in the car. You're the goal is editing tech team is really good. The whole time we're here. So the number one biryani is where? Paradise. Yeah. Are you sure? We have Hassanain right here. And we have Ahmed. The comment section in our last video on YouTube went super hard. Like you guys had no mercy. So I said, if you in the comments want to go hard, I can go harder. <laughs> we start this Hyderabadi biryani tour at the world's favorite biryani, Paradise. How do we know it's the world's favorite biryani? Because it's Essam. Awesome. That's right. World's greatest coffee. Congratulations. People have either said it's either amazing or not really that good or overhyped. But what we're going to do is find out. Oh, Sanya Mirza, Ahmed Khan, Gandhi, Salman Khan. Where's Shadow Khan? <laughs> <laughs> the place is full. And if it's this full and you have to wait to get the biryani, there must be something good about it. Look, I haven't even tried it yet, so I'm just. Same, and here we are. Other Paradise people watching him. Is the hype real? World's favorite biryani, yeah? I feel like there's pressure. Here we go. Bismillah. Mm. That's a great biryani. No, I'm being serious. Let's give it another bite. I think I've come to the conclusion. It is a great, tasty biryani. But I think the claim is what gets them into trouble called biryani belly. Do I have space for another biryani? Always. Is there such a thing as too much biryani? Never. Why do people go to a wedding? Because they're eating biryani. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are to try a wedding style nice. biryani at Max's kitchen. They call it the shadi style biryani. What is the difference between a normal biryani and a wedding biryani? It's really flavorful, it's more intense, but not too spicy. Watch this the movie Biryani and, and they'll, they'll find out. Biryani if you're not invited to. Then invite me to a wedding, bro. That's Hannibal so Lecter's kind of biryani, if you know what I'm saying. This is the type of biryani you get. Let's check out this video. Uh, here we go. This is the first biryani we're having that's got egg in it. This is the saffron-infused rice. See, Chef, up watching the plate. <laughs> All the food get finished. <laughs> he hasn't been given any. <laughs> well, I need an extra plate, bro. Please. <laughs> Chazi biryani at Max's Kitchen. Bismillah. Mirchi Gasala and the biryani, as Drake says, combination. Combination. I'm gonna bring in an extra plate for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. It's really good. 
kamia Hyderabad ake biryani neka tekia. Now we're in the original Bawangji biryani and they've got some secret recipe that nobody really knows what goes in there. But this is one of the best biryanis here in Hyderabad. So special that other Barwajis have popped up across Hyderabad copying them. We have no branches. Beware of fake Bawangji. I was bitten by a regular spider. <laughs> So here we go. The first bite of the OG original Bawarchi biryani. Bismillah. Bismillah. <laughs> May Allah bless your family. I can tell why this is a secret. Because if this comes out, <laughs> it's over. It's amazing, mashallah. So we have just finished here at Bawarchi Biryani. Next stop. Yes, Nawab Biryani. Yes, sir. The biryani tour continues, and this time we're going spicy. So apparently Shahos was a mutton shop before, a butcher's, and then they decided to open a biryani store. Apparently it's very spicy, and it's very intense. I wonder how the team feels. Excited. Exhausted, he means. <laughs> how many more biryanis do you think you can take? I'm only having like a couple mouthfuls each, so I think I could eat. That's cheating. <sighs> Shahos biryani. How do you prepare for spice? <laughs> Egg mutton biryani. The double masala mutton biryani from Shahgal is the spiciest that we've ever had on this trip and the spiciest ever. <laughs> Before we start, let's get fully prepared. Let's get a couple thumbs up. Some of the yeah! intensity. Double masala mutton biryani. Shahgal, let's see what you got. Bismillah. <laughs> Where's the spice? <laughs> this thing is not. Bro, this is the eat. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I, I, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. I'm not gonna have heart burn. I'm gonna have heart inferno. The Shavos Bariani has shaken things up because it took the spices to the next level that it really says, is there more flavor out there that I was missing in the other biryani? We don't know. Wait till the end for the final ranking. We have just touched down in Niagara, not the Niagara Falls, the Niagara and Hyderabad, the OG biryani place that still makes biryani on a wood fire oven. So we're gonna show you how it's originally made. Let's go. You've been making biryani for 40 years. Masha'Allah. What is the key to a good biryani? <laughs> What he's saying is the key to a good biryani is him. Here we have the Telegana Putla, which is the best meat, the sheep, to be used in the Hyderabad biryani. And then right next to it, we have the chicken. All the good meats ready to go, ready to get cooked up. And now, all of these ingredients are mixed together. Oh, if Hyderabad biryani is the best biryani in the world, then they must be onto something. Here we get the rice going into the cooker, which has got salt, coriander, and everything else. Ah! <laughs> oh! Careful! I'm trying to give it that earthy flavor, <laughs> so the fire is, is really... This thing is just... Ah. Now they are layering the rice on top, on top of all that curry and spices and meat, and this is going to soak up all... Layer the after layer. Intense heat. So once everything is mixed together, it's put on the intense cooker for about 10 minutes. And you can see here, the wood fire is just intensely cooking everything for a lot of heat for 10 minutes. And once the intense heating is done, it is moved to a slow cook process where coal is put on top for about 15 minutes. Then wow. the dumb happened, the steaming of it. This is... Ah, ah this one. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Like, move it! You may be wondering something. Why do they put big weight on top of the pot? And that is to hold down the top of the pot so none of the steam escapes. That's the dumb process. So this is the, the biryani master doing an official check of the tenderness of the meat.
He's been doing this for 40 years. He'll just look, be like, it's done. Don't need to taste it, doesn't need to do anything. Just looks, done. The moment all of you asked for. Bismillah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Anything that my subscribers tell me now that you said about Hyderabad biryani wasn't true. It was more than what you said. So much flavor, absolutely delicious. To end this video, we're gonna go have biryani at the house of the Indian national hero. And they are Sanya Mirza. <laughs> Thank you. So we have to ask you, as a star tennis player, how often did you get to eat biryani? No, I didn't get to eat it very often. Oh. Because I uh, wasn't allowed to. <laughs> Training, so probably. To, you know, Sneak it in. I mean, <laughs> we've asked every place that we've gone to, what do you believe is the key to a great biryani? Love. Hey, yeah. <laughs> there it is. The magic. Looks amazing. Dive in. Is this chicken? No, it's mutton. Oh, yeah. We've been having mutton the whole time we've been here. It's been amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many biryani have you tried? I've had five in about two days. That's <laughs> Is this Mama's biryani? It's Mama's recipe. <laughs> Best recipe. No, it's a great biryani, mashaAllah. I don't think you can get a bad biryani in Hyderabad, can you? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so you learned how to play tennis? I went to the Nick Balateri Tennis Academy. How long? Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if I was you can't. You a game of tennis. <laughs> what a new question. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you, like, seriously, and I want your answer. But you can play a little bit, right? I play. Wow. So then you can. A game? Yeah, a game. I think you can take if you are that confident of how well you play. <laughs> uh, I've already won. <laughs> Thank you so much, and uh, it's honor to be in your home. Maybe have like you know, and <laughs> 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 That was lovely. Biryani. An Indian's national hero, Sanya Mirza, tennis champ. What an amazing surprise. Like, I didn't think I would be able to come to Hyderabad. I thought it was just going to be biryani, but to have biryani with her, sit with her, her beautiful family, be inspired by her journey. It's the, the special masala on the biryani. <sighs> now the moment of truth. Hyderabadi biryani, what was my favorite? And my favorite biryani was all of them. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> It's not gonna. It's not gonna get in trouble that way. You had to have a favorite. <laughs> Come on. It's not gonna get in trouble. Uh, uh, that would. You should have. Yeah. Um, say which one you liked the most. I would love to do that. Because obviously, next time, hopefully soon. But uh, we go to India. Uh, we're gonna go to the southern parts mm -hmm. of India. Hopefully, uh, lots of the southern parts. Hyderabad probably being one of them. Yeah. I would definitely be trying. At minimum, one Hyderabad biryani. I would hope <laughs> that would be a major fail if we did not achieve that. Um, as long well, they should have, as long as they have a North Indian biryani in Hyderabad, right? I think because that's that's should. really what we've done. We've paced ourselves that way. That if you want to learn, uh, really the best South Indian food. Do you have a Delhi biryani? Yeah, in uh, Hyderabad, that's what I'm looking for. Us too. Or Kolkata biryani. Yeah, and uh, as you all know, the best filter coffee is in Beng it's in Bengal. It's in Kolkata. It's yeah, true. It's true. Uh, ooh, South Indian filtered coffee. Oh, it's quite good. <sighs> um, I should make some of that soon. Did you hear this? It's so stupid. It was a big, big story. Big story. Scientists have discovered. Turmeric is good for digestion. Big discovery. Uh, what? Because the <laughs> Western. <laughs> Stupid. And everybody in India is going, uh, yeah, we've known that for a good two, three thousand years probably. <laughs> uh, it's good for digestion. Oh, wow. It really was like presented as if it was this, it's. They, did you know? Did you know? It's as good as some some medications. <laughs> That's funny. <sighs> so stupid. Uh, Brownie, I know I want brownie real bad. I would like to eat anything right now. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> um, another great video. He's he has such a uh, infectious personality, and it, his team. The, well, f the filming and post putting everything together, man. He Good has grief. 2.5 million subscribers, so I'd imagine he has a whole team. Good grief. Uh, I say good grief in that it's incredible. Um, yeah, I imagine. I mean, it's, as, it's as good as 
anything you're going to see anywhere being put together. Yeah, I'd imagine he has a whole a whole team to editors and then producers and yeah, whoever whoever's yeah. doing that's doing a great job. I think he lives in um, Dubai. Yeah, that's what I thought. I remember the last video he ended it back home. Yeah, in Dubai. I think he ended it in Dubai, which I would love to have a whole team. Unfortunately, the uh, it costs more out here to have a whole team. Yeah, all, all the cost yeah. of everything comparatively. If we were living in India, I could have an entire. We could team. do it because <laughs> the the cost of paying people is different, and the, the ratio the ratio of rupee to dollar because exactly seventy five percent are in India that watch so yeah, yeah do the math because and also you don't get as much via revenue for indian subscribers is how youtube works yeah uh, the ad dollars do just don't have, work uh american subscribers correct um if we had an american subscribers our net worth might be accurate <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> that's very true well, let me tell you our net worth on, uh, is nowhere near <laughs> no <laughs> not even no. a fraction <laughs> If you uh, think we're doing it for the money, <laughs> think again, friends. Sorely mistaken. <laughs> Sorely mistaken. Uh, anyways, a great video. Let us know what other videos from him we should react to uh, and other food videos we can react to uh, and what biryani we should try. Yes. Is Hyderabad the best? Yeah. That's I still it. go for Council Bluffs. Just.